<laughs> oh, I just drank all this water. I really have to go. <laughs> I'll give you that one. Okay, you get that one. Every once in a while, you have a gem. It's not often, though, that's just so you a, know. That's a gem. Yeah. <laughs> My inconsistency is what makes me interesting. Sure, sure. Weird. Yep, it always does. It's like, okay, and that's why I don't want to give props, and when I do, it happens. This is what happens. Hi, Crackwisians. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to another exciting edition of Conley's Corner, because they're always exciting. Always, everyone. Yes, for, for many they're reasons. They're not for everyone, no. but everyone. I'm Crackwise Magazine Editor-in-Chief Kathy Vogel. From Bastard Ollie and Mookie sitting right back there. Oscar and Mo and Joe Bot up front, and he's always interesting. Comedian Mike Conley. Well, hi there, everybody. Yes, yes, yes. So it happens. Let's talk about Tinkle. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, some people are always getting up in the middle of the night to pee. Why is this happening? We have three reasons why that could be occurring. Lifestyle choices. Maybe you're just drinking too much water before bedtime. Or maybe you like caffeine and alcohol, which are diuretics. So try cutting out your beverages two to three hours before you're supposed to go to sleep so you're not waking up, you know, every hour or two to get up and pee. I mean, come on. Medications are another thing. Some heart medications and mood stabilizers can increase your nighttime tinkling. So maybe if you can change the timing of when you take your medications, you can eliminate the need to get up and go tinkle. And possibly psychological causes. Like maybe you have a lot of anxiety or depression or... OCD, and when that happens, you've been conditioned, like when I wake up at night, it must mean I have to go to the bathroom. So whether you have to or not, you just get up and try to go, all right? It's a habit, but you can break that. Those are three reasons why you maybe have to get up to pee. Here are some things that make you have to go. Yes, there are such things. Yeah. In case you were wondering. Shame on them. First of all, number one. <laughs> <laughs> Stop yes! It. Yes! Everybody, stop. I approve of this message. <laughs> Number one, you are old. <laughs> wow. Fellas, you reach an age, Woo. maybe it's around 50. If you're lucky, you wait that long. And you might as well keep shoes or slippers or something next to the bed because you're getting up. What about and, a bucket to piss in? Well, either that or you, <laughs> if you've got like an old Gatorade bottle, don't, and yeah, well, get a bucket because don't flatter yourself that you can hit the Gatorade <laughs> bottle in the middle of the night. And you don't need a big bucket because, again, don't flatter yourself. Number two. Yes. Beer. Oh. Be oh beer. No. Look, oh. look, it's a, this is a scientific fact. A 12 pack goes in, a case is going to come out. That's just science. I learned that when I was in school, all right? <laughs> so you got to schedule your drinking. So, and by the way, the shoes next to the bed at this point should be track shoes because you're not going to make it otherwise. Mm -mm. Finally, yes. the third thing that could is triggering fact is running water. Oh, running water of yeah. any type. It could be a faucet. It could be a picture on the television set. It could be any... You go on vacation at Niagara Falls and you're drunk, you might as well be naked and go stand in a sprinkler and hope nobody recognizes it. Wow. And that's just one more reason why I heart crackwise. But you gotta be careful, because if you move down just a little, you just love crack. Okay then. We hope that you have good, productive, timely tinkling. Drink recipe of the week at the bottom of the page. And we're Conley won't be tinkling on sprinklers or whatever, sprinkling on tinklers. I don't know. I'm all okay? pissed off. Our website is crackwisemag.com. And like us on social media. It wouldn't hurt you to do that. No, it wouldn't. Thank you, everybody. I gotta go. <laughs> In a bucket? <laughs> This episode oh, no. of Conley's Code is brought to you by the number one anti-urinating uh, cream. It is called... Cream? It's Yes. When you finally discover it, you yell, Uranica! And then all of a sudden you can go... Oh, God. And then, but then you don't have to go later <laughs> on. It's horrible. Well, no, you can't be pushing cream up there. Yeah, that's... No, no, no. It's a topical. 
Yeah, but you can't. It's actually ain't gonna. It goes on the surface. I know what topical means. <laughs> After that, it filters through the outer layers of the skin. Oh, help penetrating me. The, uh, the, the, the uh, renal system, which is also known as the skin, I believe, if I remember correctly from no, my medical days, which I didn't really go to. I believe it's epidermal, renal, Epidur deals with the kid kidneys. Oh, you're right. Well, that still works, too, because that, <laughs> it goes. Through the skin and up the the the, the, the See, tube you know thing. what this is? We let him have cookies before the show started, and now he's all fired up. We can't give him sweets before we start. You're a <laughs> I can't. The sugar's bad. I think this is a stupid product. I said it. That's all. Goodbye. You're an 